What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to move OneDrive from OneDrive to another drive. What do I mean by that? Well, essentially, when you're using this cloud service, as soon as you open up a file, it'll be downloaded to your computer and eventually it'll start eating away at your C drive space, which is usually your smallest yet fastest drive with Windows on it. Essentially, this OneDrive folder with all of your documents in it is really located in C, Users, your username, then OneDrive. This is the physical location, and this is where it'll take up space on your drive. Even though I've used a couple hundred gigabytes, you should see a certain amount of space is being taken up on your drive, while your cloud space can be a lot bigger. I'm pretty sure this size on disk should be accurate, maybe not. But basically, this folder does take up usually a ton of space on your drive, making life unpleasant, especially on smaller SSDs. How exactly do we move this to another physical drive on our computer? Well, it's relatively simple. Hit start and open up OneDrive, and in your start bar, you should see a little cloud icon. When you click this, you'll have the OneDrive window pop up, click settings at the very top, and then choose settings once more. Then we'll see a pop-up, head across to the account tab at the very top, we'll see how much space is being used and how much total we have on the cloud, but what we want to do is click unlink this PC. Before this, make sure you close all programs that are currently using your OneDrive files as we will be moving them from one folder location to another. I'll click unlink this PC, then unlink. Just make sure to make a mental note of what the email address of your account is up here as we will need to sign into it once more. I'll click unlink account, and upon doing so, not much will happen. Eventually, a getting started window for OneDrive will pop up. There we go. Now we have the Microsoft OneDrive setup window here, and we're free to move around this OneDrive file as we see fit. So head into C Users, your username, and look for OneDrive. We'll then right-click this and choose Cut, and now we can move it across to another physical drive on our computer. For me, I'll be placing it on, say, E Drive, and I'll be dropping it right here in the home directory. So E OneDrive is where my files will physically be located instead of being in the C users my username OneDrive. Now, of course, depending on how many files you have, this could either be short or really, really long. So you'll just need to wait for this to finish. As you can see, these are all really links as they're not being used on my computer that actively. So the total file size is really, really tiny, but it does have links to practically all of my files. So that's exactly what it's moving across now. If you previously opened something up, a rather big file, it'll be downloaded to your computer and kept there for a couple of weeks. And that's exactly what we're moving here. We're moving links to all of our files, as well as actual files that we've downloaded in the meanwhile. Alternatively, you don't even need to wait for it to copy. You can simply just delete this folder from your computer completely if you know that you have everything backed up on OneDrive already. I only use OneDrive for a backup, so I don't have anything on my PC that I use from it. I'm more than happy deleting this and re-downloading anything in the future when I decide to open them up. By deleting the OneDrive folder in its entirety while you're completely signed out of OneDrive shouldn't affect anything on your account. There we go. The OneDrive folder has vanished from C uses my username and now has either been moved to or I've simply made a new folder on another drive called OneDrive. Here we go, E drive, OneDrive, and currently it's empty. When we double click on it, if you decided to cut it from one place to another, you'll see that it pops up with this window here. Otherwise, if you simply created a OneDrive folder, you won't see this window at all. Instead, you'll need to either start up OneDrive or tap back into this, assuming you have OneDrive already open. When you click on it, you'll need to sign into your account once more, so that's exactly what I'll do here. Once you've signed in, you may need to click through a few agreements, but eventually you'll reach a screen that looks like this. Your OneDrive folder is currently here. See users, your username, OneDrive. What you need to do is click change a location. I'll head to this PC, my other hard drive, and I'll select the OneDrive folder. Click select folder and you'll see this pop up. If you're signing in with the same account, click use this folder. Otherwise, if it's a new account, click choose new folder. In that case, it would need to be empty completely. Otherwise, everything in there would be synced up with the internet. In my case, it's the same account and I'm moving it from one drive to another. So I'll click use this folder. Then make sure this is changed and click next. Now, wherever you decided to move the OneDrive folder, in my case, E OneDrive, is where all of your files will be downloaded to when you decide to open them up. You can keep them offline, keep them online, etc. It's normal OneDrive, just now it's located physically in another place. If we click the OneDrive shortcut in the File Explorer, you'll see that it still takes you across to the same place, E OneDrive is the same as just the OneDrive folder here. It's physically located on a different drive and will now take up space physically somewhere else. It's a lot easier this way and better in my opinion. 
as it's not forced to be on your C drive only. You can click it up and see what's syncing as it's syncing. And of course, if you don't want them to sync, you can adjust your settings as necessary. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.